it's end of March and if you are like me, you are itching to go to the garden and start working there, like planting seeds, propagating plants and stuff like that. Hi, this is Ruchi. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to prune your hardy fuchsias. So you can see here are a few of my fuchsia plants and I overwinter them. I'm in zone 9b. So there are a few days when there's frost. So I uh, hang them or keep them under a tree. So they are protected. But of course, um, you know, they kind of dry up a little bit. And now is the time when they'll start to grow. So because fuchsia flowers grow on new wood only. So these are all old stems. So flowers are not going to grow on those. The new stems that come out of it, the flowers will grow on those. So there's no point in keeping all these old uh, stems alive. So you can prune them down and then new stems will come out and the flowers will grow on those. So that's what we are going to do today. So the first thing is that you want to sanitize your shears. So I have my shears here and there's hydrogen peroxide liquid. If you have rubbing alcohol, you could use that instead of hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to just take some liquid on a paper towel, you know, like this. And I'm just going to clean my shears so that when I uh, make the cuts, the plants are not infected. So you can just go down and just prune them, you know, three to four inches uh, from the soil. And you can see that, you know, the middle part of this uh, stem is green. So it is alive. It's just that, you know, it appears brown on the top. So there's no um, right or wrong way. Just go down and start pruning all these stems. The new stems will grow pretty soon because spring is almost here and um, you know you will have new branches and new flowers from there okay so similarly here you know I just go you can go maybe as long as you know the rim of the plant uh, this looks like a fresh stem to me, so I'll leave it. When you prune a stem, it promotes growth. So right from wherever you have cut it, uh, new branches appear just underneath that. If you just left the old stem as is, fewer branches will grow. And if you think that there is still chance of frost, so either you can move these inside or you can somehow protect them outside so they don't get burnt by the frost. You know, we have pruned the plants, new branches will grow and then from those new branches, new flowers will grow. As you are cutting these branches, you can also use them to propagate uh, fuchsia. I have multiple videos on that. I have put the links in the description. You can check them out. And one more thing, you know, some people think that like in this plant, it's already growing leaves. You know, there is fresh growth already. If you can see these small green things. So should we prune this? Yes, absolutely. Because as I said, that uh, the flowers are not going to grow from this stem. It's only from the new growth. So you cut it down. There will be fresh growth. New branches will come out and then you'll get flowers from those and it becomes tidy a little bit. And I have a few videos uh, on fuchsia care. Uh, so I have put the link in the description, you can check it out. So I hope this uh, short video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.